even if you get everything else right, choosing the wrong fishing line can ruin your day of fishing. My name is Wesley Littlefield with anglers.com and yes, you heard me right, choosing the wrong fishing line will destroy your day of fishing. But don't worry, this video is here to help you avoid all the heartache of choosing the wrong fishing line. One of the times that I chose the wrong fishing line was fishing braided line with a crankbait. It was cast after cast of tangling up in my own line. So I was spending more time taking the stinking braid out of the hooks than I was actually fishing. And it was just super frustrating and made me want to not fish for the rest of the day. So that leads me into my first point of choosing the right type of fishing line. So as you well know, there's three types of fishing line. There's monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided line. And these three types of fishing line have their own unique benefits that will make fishing specific techniques and lures a lot easier. So let's start with monofilament, which I recommend all beginners start with. Just go straight mono, keep it simple, and that's because it doesn't tangle as easily as fluorocarbon and you can just fish it in a lot of different ways. So monofilament floats, which makes it really good for your top water lures and lures that you don't want to sink very fast because it'll help resist that fall a little bit and therefore, you know, it makes the lures sink just a little bit slower. So fluorocarbon is better for using on lures like crankbaits and fishing rigs that you need to get down deep. It's also better in clear water because fluorocarbon's properties make it blend into the water a little bit better and almost turn invisible in clear water. Braided fishing line also floats like monofilament, but it doesn't have the stretch of monofilament and it's a little bit more sensitive. So I tend to run braided line on a main line and then run like a fluorocarbon or a monofilament off of that braided line. I don't like running straight braided line except for in like very few instances of really thick heavy cover or like when fishing a frog. Now for years I used to only fish with 17 pound test line because this is really what my grandpa fished with and he said oh I love this I caught a bunch of fish with it and he did but that was also back in the day when we didn't have a thousand different options. So one day I was having a very lousy day and I just said hey, I've got this fishing pole rigged up with a little bit lighter line, let me try it. And it worked. That's because lighter line allowed my lure to act a little bit more naturally. It blended in a little bit better and it wasn't so obvious to the fish. And so that got me on the journey of dabbling with different pound tests. Now I've actually got a video that I'll link right here that talks about what's the best pound test and it might actually surprise you what I think is the best. And choosing the best pound test involves determining the technique or lure that you're using as well as the water clarity. So for techniques that you're gonna use around heavy cover, you're gonna wanna bump that strength up. That's why I really like braided line because you can bump up the strength and still keep a small diameter line which will help the lures continue to act naturally, help you cast a little bit better, all that benefits. And for techniques that require a little lighter touch, you're gonna wanna downsize your line. So you might typically fish a 17 pound test like my grandpa, and at times you might need to step down to say eight pounds. I know that's almost 10 pound difference and you're like, well, it's just gonna break off all the time. Well, that's when you gotta learn how to adjust your drag and all that stuff. But that's for a different video. The other thing that primarily determines your pound test is the water clarity. In dirtier water, you can get away with heavier, thicker, higher pound tests. Whereas in clear water, you've got to downsize that line and basically make it invisible for the fish to see. Now it's true, choosing the right line will help you avoid completely destroying your day of fishing. However, that's not the end all be all. You can still choose the wrong weight and have a bad day of fishing. But don't worry, the video below is gonna show you how to choose the right weight for bass fishing, and I'll see you there.